What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bear Rock chicken farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bear Rock with you play phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you can see here, this farm allows you to easily get a lot of feathers and cook chicken. For this farm, you'll need one chest, two hoppers, five glass blocks, two dispensers, one lava bucket, 11 redstone, four ladders, one cobblestone wall, one button, one redstone comparator, one observer, one slab, four trapdoors, and finally about 17 solid blocks that don't burn. A couple examples of solid blocks that don't burn include cobblestone or smooth stone. The first step is to place a chest. Then you go behind the chest. Now crouch down and place a hopper over here. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing the chest. That hopper will collect all the feathers and cooked chicken and funnel them into that collection's chest. The next step is to place a solid block over here and a dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing this way. That dispenser will dispense eggs. The next step is to crouch down and place a block over here. Then place another block over here as well. Then go to this side. Now place a trapdoor over here and a trapdoor over here. Then open the trapdoors. After you have done that, go to this side. Then place a trapdoor over here and a trapdoor at this spot. Now open these trapdoors. Now break these two blocks. Then crouch down and place a glass block on the chest. Then place another glass block over here. After you have done that, crouch down and place a slab on the hopper. That slab will cause adult chickens in that chamber to touch lava so they will get automatically killed. Either way, the hopper will be able to collect feathers and cooked chicken through the slab. The next step is to crouch down and place a block on this dispenser. Then place two blocks over here. Now place a block at this spot. Then go down here. Then place the dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing downwards. That dispenser will dispense lava. Now break this block. After you've done that, go behind the farm. Then crouch down and place a hopper over here. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing that dispenser. That hopper will pick up eggs that are laid by chickens, then funnel them into that dispenser. Once you have placed that hopper, crouch down and place a block over here. Then break these two blocks. Now break these two blocks as well. Now go down here. Then place an observer at this spot. Make sure the arrow of that observer is facing downwards. After you have done that, place two blocks over here. Then place redstone over here, redstone over here, and redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that redstone should get connected. Once you are done with that step, place a block over here, then break this block. Now face this direction, then place a redstone comparator over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone comparator are facing the hopper. Then click the redstone comparator one time. That should make that light go on. The next step is to place redstone over here and a block at this spot. Then place a glass block over here. Now place two redstone over here. As you guys can see there, by placing that glass block, the redstone should be able to travel through that spot. Then place two blocks over here, two blocks over here, and a block at this spot. After you have placed those blocks, place four redstone over here. Then crouch down and place a redstone on this dispenser. The next step is to place two blocks over here and a glass block at this spot. Now place two ladders over here. Then go over to this side. Now place two blocks over here and a glass block at this spot. Then place two ladders over here. The ladders on each side will allow you to easily get up to these spots. The next step is to add a lava bucket to the suspenser. Now crouch down and place a button over here. The next step is to bring at least two chickens to this chamber. By the way, the more chickens you add, the more efficient this farm will be. I am now going to show you all one easy way you can do that in survival mode. To do that, first place a block over here, then place three blocks over here, three over here, three over here, and three over here as well. Then place three blocks over here. After you have done that, place two blocks over here, and two over here. Once you are done placing those blocks, place a door at this spot. After you are done making that chamber, go look for some chickens. Once you have found chickens, hold seeds. As you guys can see there, that will make the chickens follow you. Now walk back over to the farm. Once you are at the farm, walk up here, then open this door. Now stand over here. As you guys can see there, the chicken should follow you into this area. After the chickens are in here, close this door. 
Now try to push the chickens over to that spot. Once they're over there, stop holding the seeds. That will cause them to stop following you. Another easy way you can get chickens over to that spot is to throw some eggs over here. Every time you throw an egg, there's a chance for a baby chicken to spawn. Try to push all the chickens over to that chamber. By the way, they may try to escape the chamber, however, that's okay because you can easily push them back over. Once there are at least two chickens over there, place a cobblestone wall at this spot. That will prevent them from being able to escape that chamber. At this point, if you want to get more chickens in that chamber, you can breed them with seeds. The more chickens you have in this chamber, the more efficient the farm will be. By the way, chickens have a breeding cooldown of 1 minute. After you have the amount of chickens you want in that chamber, break these blocks. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure I've made this chicken farm correctly. Over here, there should be this front chamber. Make sure the dispensers are facing the correct directions. This side should look like this. Over there, there should be that chicken chamber. The back should have all this back redstone. It's really important that you did all the redstone correctly. Finally, this side should look like this. How this chicken farm works is whenever the chickens in this back chamber lay eggs, the eggs will get picked up by that hopper, then funneled into that dispenser. Whenever an egg goes into that hopper, the redstone comparator will detect that, then cause the observer to send a redstone signal to the dispensers. The observer will cause that dispenser to dispense an egg. Whenever an egg is dispensed, there's a chance for a baby chicken to spawn. The observer will also cause that dispenser to dispense and suck up lava. That will cause any adult chickens in that chamber to get killed and automatically cooked. The baby chickens will not get killed by the lava because they are too short. All the feathers and cooked chicken will get picked up by that hopper then funneled into that collection's chest. To use this chicken farm, all you need to do is wait somewhere near it. Whenever you want to collect the loot, all you need to do is open this chest. All of the feathers and cooked chicken will be in here. If you want to speed up the growth process of the baby chickens, you can feed them seeds. By the way, you will not need to worry about the chickens being able to escape through that gap. If you ever have some extra eggs and want to use them in this farm, you can go up here. Then throw the eggs one at a time into the hopper. By the way, after you throw an egg, wait for the lava to get sucked up before you throw the next egg. If the lava ever gets stuck outside the dispenser, hit this button. That should cause it to go back into the dispenser. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bayrock chicken farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.